Jesus said to his disciples, Be careful not to parade your good deeds before men to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your almsgiving must be secret. And your Father, who sees all that is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your Father, who is in that secret place. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let men know they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that no one will know you are fasting except your Father, who sees all that is done in secret. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. That beautiful gospel passage is part of the Sermon on the Mount, where our Lord is talking about the characteristics that he seeks among his disciples, disciples of the Kingdom of Heaven. He's talking about the three great pillars of Judaism, prayer and fasting and almsgiving. And that's a gospel passage that's fairly familiar to us because we hear it also each year on Ash Wednesday at the beginning of the great 40 days. The key point our Lord is making is that we have to be careful not to become addicted to the opinions and the approval of other people. None of us is probably tempted to go and stand on the street corners to pray to earn people's admiration. In our culture, they'd probably regard us as lunatics. We live in a different world. But the old human temptation to seek the approval of others is just as alive in our time as it was in the first century. This gospel challenges us to examine our own lives and to see what areas are there where we're so concerned about what other people might think of us that we're a little bit too timid to say what we know we should say, to do what we know we should do as faithful disciples of the Kingdom of Heaven. Our Lord reminds us that we must seek firstly the Kingdom of God, that what we do, what we say, must primarily 
be driven by what God wants us to say and what God wants us to do, not by what others might want us to say or want us to do. So perhaps as we reflect on this gospel today, it's an opportunity for us to think about our own lives and just to see are there areas where I have been too timid to do what God asks because I'm too addicted and too reliant on the approval of others. I want people to like me more than I want to do God's will. May God bless you.